time to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles for our NFL midseason review. Uh, this is a team that has been surprising this year. No one really saw Carson Wentz being as good uh, as he's been. And really, he continues to impress me because they have nobody at receiver. Jordan Matthews is a, is a good player, but he's kind of that Marcus Colston, bigger guy that uh, doesn't have a ton of uh, time exceeding as a deep threat. Solid but not great receiver. And then behind him, you got Doriel Green Beckham, who's, who's continued to struggle. And not really a lot of weapons, especially the, with this running game being as bad as it's been. So I love Carson Wentz. I would be so optimistic if I was an Eagles fan. I think you might have the the next up-and-coming, you know, we talk about what quarterbacks are we going to see once really after Rodgers is gone. There's a lot of older quarterbacks with, with Brady and Rivers, uh, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, Ben Roethlisberger. Once that group's gone, who do we have? I think Andrew Luck, Carson Wentz, Derek Carr. But Carson Wentz might have the highest ceiling out of all of them other than Andrew Luck. So at least you have that to look forward to defensively. I've been very impressed. I said Brandon Graham before the year uh, is not an impact player, and he's proved me wrong for sure. Uh, I still think Madden overrates him. He's not the best defensive end in football, but – He's very, very good, gets a ton of push. I still think he struggles to get off blocks at times. You'll see a lot of uh, defend um, running backs shoot right through his gap, kind of undisciplined in the containment. Uh, but that's all stuff you can work on. From a physical standpoint, Brandon Graham is incredible. Fletcher Cox, of course. Uh, and then the other D lineman, I, I like Bo Allen, uh, the D lineman. I got to give him a shout out. Went to high school with him. Uh, and then... Uh, the linebackers you would think would be better than they're playing. Michael Kendricks should be better, should be more disciplined, uh, but he's been getting beat all year. Uh, Hicks has been uh, pretty good uh, these last couple weeks, uh, but he had a slow start. And then the secondary is held up much better than you would think. They've got like Leotis McKelvin uh, starting to play at corner. Um, and then, really, it's it's all held together because of uh, Malcolm Jenkins, who's one of my favorite players in the NFL. Such an incredible force, uh, just controls the defense from behind. They can move them all over the field. Uh, but it's that pass rush from the, that D line that's really uh, led to the Eagles having what has really turned out to be uh, almost an elite defense. So definitely uh, maybe next year and the year after, if Philly can add some more weapons offensively, we're going to see a very, very good football team behind a very good quarterback. Uh, so that's my outlook for the Eagles. We're going to move on. We'll talk about the Giants and then the Redskins, and that will conclude the NFC East.